Today we have, I think, between 150 and 200 people gathered to talk about building transparency into government at all levels, the legislative process, the executive branch, and government agencies on the Hill. So we've got some really cool geeky people and some really cool political people, too. In the late 90s, early 2000s, right around the time I graduated from college, there were so many books coming out about how Americans didn't care about politics anymore, how we weren't engaging locally or civically, um, and how this was going to lead to the downfall of American government and politics. But over the course of the past eight years, we've seen more people engaging in politics and excited about politics. And I think the election in 2008 was a good example of that. So people are there. They're engaged. They're excited, and we can't disappoint them. We have to use government in a way that's open, that's transparent, that actually shows them how government is working for them, that doesn't hide information, and that engages people in the political process. I mean, often what we see is you have you have the social media people around Washington, D.C., and they talk to the social media people. And you have the good government people, and they talk to the good government people. And you have the governorati, and you have the campaigners, and the political consultants, and an event like this brings everybody together and draws from their collective expertise. Uh, you know, in, in my opinion, it's really a leadership challenge. When I talk to people working in all levels of government, they immediately buy into it. They see why it's important, but often it's the leadership at the top that sets the regulations, the rules, and the pace for an organization. And it's the hearts and minds of those leaders that we have to change to see long-term um, projects that pull people into the political process and that make government more open and transparent.